Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back uh, to another video. So, today I'm going to be recording a small, another little short video where I'll be showing you the best keyboard shortcuts, 15 of them. Um, so, I might as well just start. <laughs> so, the first one is, I'll do, uh, okay, so I'll start off with Control 1. So, for example, if I spawn a part, uh, and I click Control 1, it brings up the Select tool over here. So I can select it. If I click on Control 2, it brings up the Move tool. If I click on uh, Control 3, it brings up the Scale tool, so I can scale it. And if I do Control 4, uh, it brings up the, uh, the Rotate tool. And then if I click on Control 5, it also brings up, uh, here's a bonus one, Control 5 is, it's like a little thing where it has all of everything so it has the rotate it has the move um it has the scale and it has the drag so it has like literally everything but it's kind of hard to use so i wouldn't recommend it um next i guess um there's okay so here's another really useful one so let's say you're working on a big project and there's a big map so you're far away from let's say a certain area so let's say spawn so if you want to get there let's say i'm all the way here so instead of scrolling all the way back which can take a while you can select the part either in the toolbox uh, you can't really see my toolbox because because uh, i can't sorry uh because my obs doesn't the sizing is weird but here let me move it over here oh no you can't see it basically if you go in the explorer the toolbox you can select the part so you can see I'm selecting this part, you can see it. And then if I click on F, it brings me straight to that part. So all you have to do is just select a part and click on F. Or you can select the model, so now it's a model. And click, um, uh, now it's a model. So now if I click on it, it's the same thing. It's not, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's a really useful shortcut. Next, another shortcut is Control D. So let's say I had this part um, and I make it, let me just change the color to red or to brown. Uh, and I, so if I want to duplicate it and I want to move one to the right, so I want another one over here, I can select it, click on Control D, and it duplicates it exactly where it is. So now I can make another one and have it red. Um, so that's um, the duplicate thing, it's also really useful. <laughs> Then uh, there's also another pretty useful one where if you want to delete a part, you can c uh, hold down on shift and then click on X. I'm sorry, I mean uh, control X, not shift X, control X, and it deletes the part. Uh, so now you can see we have no parts. Now another shortcut most of you probably know is control Z, which basically uh, it's an undo key, uh, key bind. So Let's say I move this over here, and let's say I don't want it there anymore, I want it back over here, I can click Control Z, and now it's back over here. Now let's say I actually want it back over here, so I want to um, redo it, I can click Control Y. So Control Z is undo, Control Y is redo. They're both really useful. Um, and yeah, next there's, um, uh, uh, this is more of a... This isn't really a keyboard shortcut, but it's uh, a, like a shortcut in studio. So let's say you're trying to move around, but if you use WASD, you move really fast sometimes. So you can hold down on shift, and then it makes your movement a lot slower. Uh, and then of course, if you wanna move fast again, just let go of shift. So if you hold down on shift, it slows your camera down or slows you down. Um, next, another shortcut is, let's say I wanna scale this part. But I want it to be the same size on both of the axes. So I can basically, I can hold down. Hold on, let me uh, redo this. So I can hold down on control and then I can drag it. So if I hold down on control, it basically repeats it on the other, on the other side. For example, if I didn't hold down on control and I, uh, and I scaled it over here, you can see it, um, it doesn't actually go on both sides it only goes on the top if i hold down a control it does both now to the next shortcut it's if you hold down on shift it basically makes everything bigger so it just enlarges everything if it's a model or if it's a part 
Um, next, uh, all right, guys, I just fixed uh, the thing so you can actually see my output and uh, toolbar now. So another quick shortcut is let's just say I um I print hey hello world a bunch of times. That's hello world. Hold on. So you can see if I you can see the output is filling up. So if I want to clear the output, uh, you can do Control K and it clears the output. Uh, another good shortcut is if you click on Alt Alt and then P, it it publishes the game. This is just a base plate, so it's not really publishing anything. But uh, if I click uh, Alt Alt P, it publishes your game. Now a few other shortcuts that um like honorable mentions, I guess. Um, if you want to rotate a part, like completely. Uh, 360 so like or like uh so like this or like this like 180 or i guess you can select the part and you could click Control r and it rotates it this way and then you can also here let me just show you you can also click Control t and it rotates it the other way the last last uh shortcut um is if you click on Control and then f4 it um it closes your studio so if you want, you can go to a different one of your games instead. So it's just a quick way. I mean, before you do it, you of course would want to do Alt P to publish your game. And then you do Control F4 and it'll go back to the Roblox Studio page. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope these keybinds help, will help you out. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.